Good morning, T-Wolves. I'm Parker. And I'm Elena. And this is T-Wolf TV for Monday, February 2nd. Please stand and join us in listening to the National Anthem and reciting in the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, sleep can you see By the dawn's early light What so proudly we have At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Congrats to the New England Patriots who won Super Bowl 28-24 over the Seattle Seahawks. The game came down to the wire when an interception by New England at the one-yard line saved the game for them. Quite an exciting ending, complete with an end zone brawl started by the Seahawks and an ejection. Everything you'd expect from the Super Bowl. Congrats, Patriots! Seniors, if you have been accepted to the University of Utah or plan on applying to the U, please come to the Little Theater for Flex on Tuesday for uh, our U of U rep Ryan has important information he would like to share. Seniors, there are five Keys to Success scholarships available. They can be found on the KTS website or at Miss, Mrs. Ship's desk. Congratulations to our visual art department. They had eight art pieces accepted into the Springville Art Show. The average for the state is two to five. They also received two big awards. Madeline Reinhard was awarded the third Congressional District Award for her mosaic. This piece will hang in Washington, D.C. and will represent our district. She and a parent will also fly back free from Southwest to D.C. to attend the award ceremony. And a huge congratulations to Miss Anna Davis, who was awarded the BYU David O. McKay School of Education Art Education Teacher of the Year Award. T-Wolf TV spoke with Ms. Davis about the awards. So on Friday we found out about the Springville All-State High School show, about the award winners for this year, and we had two big awards from Timpanogos High School. The first award is the Congressional District Award. Madeline Reinhardt and her piece Forbidden Fruit won first place for the 3rd Congressional District. So that means that her piece is going to be representing our entire Congressional District. It will hang in Washington, D.C. for a year. And Southwest Airlines is going to fly her and a parent to Washington, D.C. for the award ceremony. So that will be really great. Send your congratulations to Mads. Um, the other award that I was thrilled to read was that I was actually chosen as the McKay School of Education Teacher of the Year. So that's chosen from all the, all the teachers in the state of Utah. And every year for, as part of the show, they do a booklet spotlighting one teacher. And so that year... It will be, this year it will be on me. So. There are a lot of art teachers in Utah. Ms. Davis was chosen as the best. And she is right at THS. And we have the opportunity to be taught by her. Way to go, Ms. Davis. The presentation award ceremony is this Saturday morning at the Springville Museum of Art. Congrats again, Ms. Davis. Last week, there was an area FFA contest held and our Timpanogos FFA students had some major accomplishments. If you see these students, please congratulate them for their efforts. 
Megan Knipe, Star State AgriScience Fair finalist, Agricultural States Proficiency Area finalist, Research Plant Systems Area finalist, Kristen Lambert, Research Diversity Field Topics Area finalist, Colin Loveless, Star State Green Hand AgriScience finalist, and Jeremy Masteller, Star State Green Hand Placement finalist. Way to go, FFA. That's it for us. For T-Wolf TV, I'm Parker. And I'm Elena. Have a great day, T-Wolves.